Let's be real, I love the MCU, but it's falling off harder than Black Widow did in Endgame. So ranking 40 plus projects is absolutely insane to me. So instead, I'm just going to spill about my top 10 favorite MCU films, with some honorable mentions of course. Starting off my honorable mentions is the first Black Panther film, which I'll admit has tons of hit or miss jokes, visuals, and the action scenes aren't the greatest. Yet the characters and the performances are just awesome, especially from Michael B. Jordan, really giving such great screen presence as Killmonger, and Kendrick Lamar being on the soundtrack instantly makes the Black Panther soundtrack a top tier soundtrack in the MCU, cause Kendrick never misses. Next is the sequel, Wakanda Forever, which I'll admit is slow at times, but you can tell the film's craftsmanship has improved a ton from the first film. As much as I miss Killmonger, I really dug Neymar as a villain. And of course, this film is a great tribute to T'Challa and the late great Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace, my man. And to cap off my honorable mentions, it's Loki. For me, my experience with Loki is like with Haley Steinfeld. I didn't understand the hype around Haley before, honestly thinking she was really mid, but after doing tons of reflecting, I realized I was a blind idiot, and I finally got the hype. So yeah, before, your boy was a fucking idiot, and now, he's still a fucking idiot, but at least he gets the hype for Haley Steinfeld and Loki. And for me, everything about Loki is so close to top tier. It just falls short for me because of season 1. But hey, it still has one of the best endings to any MCU project whatsoever, and nothing will take that away from Loki. Kicking off my top 10 is Avengers 1, which I'd argue that if this film didn't work, the entire interest for the MCU wouldn't be high at all. It's a truly important film, while being really fun. The banter, the action, and the glory of the whole crossover is just so fun to watch, and it makes this film so rewatchable. Moving on to number 9 is Captain America Civil War. It isn't the most visually awesome film on this list, but it is a really exhilarating crossover. While being a solid Captain America film, it really got the Captain America vs Iron Man concept right. And it showed both perspectives really well. I'd say that the action is really good here too. Especially in the third act, and bold take here, but Black Panther really peaked here as well, because his suit is just really good looking here. Like, the vibranium weave looks way better than nanotech, and I'll stand on that any day of the week. Moving on to number 8 is Endgame, which ideally this would be the end of the MCU. It's an epic, bittersweet conclusion to this era of the MCU, which is really impressive because it deals with all these characters and wraps up most of them really well. Moving on to number 7 is Spider-Man No Way Home, which I'll admit the quality of this film isn't the greatest but I truly believe that this is a high risk, high reward type of film that shouldn't have worked whatsoever, yet it still does wonders for tons of these characters like Tom Holland's Peter Parker, especially for his future, and really showcased his potential as a great standalone Spider-Man. And obviously, it's nostalgia done right. Moving on to number six, it is Spider-Man Homecoming, which the humor, the high school setting really works here, establishing Tom Holland as a great Peter Parker and Spider-Man. And Vulture's a great villain here too, as Michael Keaton can't escape playing another winged character in his career. Also, Ned Leeds made the biggest sacrifice of all of fiction, and it should be celebrated. Now moving on to my top five, we'll kick it off with Captain America and Winter Soldier, which is such a tonally consistent, tense film, which knows how to pick its spots with levity. It truly establishes that Captain America is one of the best characters in the MCU, with Winter Soldier and Black Widow also being really great here, as this is prime Scarlett Johansson, you know what I mean. And also has some of the best hand to hand action in cape shit, so props to them for that. Moving on to number 4 is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which is the funniest Guardians film while being the most beautiful MCU film. It's a visual marvel. See what it did there. And while being a very comedic film, it also has the most bittersweet ending of all the MCU. Props to the crew for knowing when to cool it with the comedy and let us simmer with the emotions of the finale. Just a banger film in general. And now that we have entered my top 3 MCU films, I like to say, if you like or hate this type of content, still please like, comment, and subscribe. And it helped me reach my goal of 350 plus subscribers by the end of the month. It'd make my nipples hard if y'all joined me on this YouTube journey. Speaking of nipple chills, moving on to number 3, it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, which is the most satisfying and mature Guardians film, with everyone getting their moment to shine, and it's just awesome. Especially what is the best action scene of all the MCU, it's just visually marvelous. It also has one of the most messed up villains in the MCU, with the High Evolutionary. And most importantly, James Gunn made me cry over Drax dancing to Florence and the Machines, The Dog Days Are Over. That scene lives rent free in my head, and that's when you know it's damn good. Speaking of damn good, moving on to number two is Avengers Infinity War, which truly did justice to the MCU's biggest villain, Thanos. This tension never stops throughout the film, making it one of the 
best theater experiences I've ever had. And I believe that if this film didn't work, then the entire Infinity Saga was a waste. And this film was truly the payoff to all that buildup. And luckily, it paid off big time, being the MCU's most ambitious crossover yet. And finally, moving on to my favorite MCU project yet, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, which is still the best Guardians film because it balances everything really well. First, it balances tones really well, balancing the tones of serious and humorous. It also balances all these new characters really well that we've never seen whatsoever. So for them to have such a great introduction really paid off here, especially with Drax, who just honestly hasn't been as good as this since because he's effective as a threat while being comedy gold it really works and the soundtrack hits the best here as well because of james gunn's soundtrack and the guardian score both getting love overall guardians of galaxy's balance is what truly cements this film as one of my favorite films to rewatch and my favorite mcu project yet so yeah, that's it for my top 10, and let's be real, you won't agree with this ranking whatsoever. And that's okay, seriously. If you all had the same list, these videos would be really boring. But I swear, if I see a list where Spider-Man Far From Home is even top 10, I'm rioting.